Hey everybody, we're here at my shop, John 5XR, and there's something big and green behind me with a kid on it. It's definitely not for the kids, so let me tell you what I got. Last night, I picked up a 2006 Kawasaki KX450F. Now this is the real deal dirt bike. It's different than what I have in the shop, which is all small bore bikes and mini motos. So the reason for this is because I was looking to get into some vintage racing and motocross and seeing if Renan wanted to get a little bit more serious with his Peewee 50. And uh, we're not sure where that's gonna go, but I always thought if I have the opportunity to pick up a bike that I know is, uh, has been in good hands and is uh, a good bike all, all around for uh, both trail riding, uh, lugging around with Renan on his Pee Wee, and also if I wanted to get out on the motocross track. So with that, I settled in on this uh, 2006 KX450F, which is the first year of the 450. Hey, what are you doing? What do you want to show us? You want to show us something? Renan's going to show us something. Go. He's on his bike. That's his dirt bike. What is that? What kind of dirt bike? He calls it a DRZ because I used to have a DRZ 400, which uh, was the first bike that he knew me having because he was a little kid. So he's still a little kid, but he was a baby at that time. So anyways, back to the Kawasaki. So this bike came to me by way of a friend who also works with us in our business. He's a machinist and he builds a lot of parts for us. So I know he's very uh, intricate and mechanically inclined. He's had this bike second owner and uh, I believe the story is he got it from the first owner who rode it one time and he broke his foot and then got rid of it so he's had it ever since 2006 2007 so it's been in great care it's uh it's been done over the shocks have been gone over for a heavier rider uh, the top end had just been refreshed and um, I'm looking forward to getting out on it and uh, getting getting my feet back wet again on a motocross bike Last one I had was when I was about 14 years old, I think, 14 or 15. It was a 87 Honda CR125, and I uh, never got into racing, but I had built my own track at my parents' house and used to ride there every day. So uh, we're gonna rebuild that track now that I have a bike that is capable of doing stuff like that again. And then we're gonna get Ren in out on the Pee Wee, and we're gonna get motocrossing get practicing up and we're gonna see where it takes us so uh, this is a pretty cool bike I'm looking forward to uh, just going over it and you know cleaning it up and I don't think it needs much of anything so it's basically gonna be my my learning bike and getting me back into uh, back into some motocrossing
So as far as the year goes, 2006 was the first year of the KX450F. There was no 2005. As they were developed in 2005, there was a frame problem uh, that developed. So they canceled all production on 2005s and then moved straight to the 2006 model. So this is the first release of the 450 four stroke from Kawasaki. And with that year of waiting and they redesigned the bike almost entirely, it was, uh, it was a good thing because the bike came out to positive re reviews. And as reading, the only real difference between this bike and the other bikes is the uh, four speed transmission it has versus the other bikes that have a five speed. To me, that wasn't a big deal and actually a plus because the wider span and gears, the wider range is probably better for slow stuff and trail riding. So I can stay in the gears a little bit longer and I'm not having to shift up and down so fast. So that really wasn't a concern of mine at all. And actually not even going to the concern level, but more a plus level. So it was actually a better thing, I think. And other than that, it's a pretty hopped up setup here. You got titanium header pipe and exhaust system. So stock exhaust on it's really good. And internally, I think it had titanium valves, which is a cool thing. And some other aspects of it that I've read about and can't remember. But overall, I think it's a pretty decent bike. And although um, majority a Honda sort of guy based on habit, uh, with dirt bikes and race bikes and stuff, they're all kind of even and, and for the most part for a rider like myself that's not going to race hard or know the difference between a good bike and a bad bike per se. Uh, it's For me it's all based upon color and uh, the green's always been one of my favorites. So I've always been a Honda guy first, Kawasaki guy second. So um, the CRF 450 would have been... Uh, my other choice but actually I really really am digging the Kawasaki I've always uh, always liked them so now they got one here we're gonna have some fun with it so the bike is for the most part stock I really don't think there's anything done to it as explained from the previous owner the factory connection revalved shocks and resprung shocks I think they're sprung for a 180 pound rider so that means I got to lose 20 pounds which is probably not a bad thing and other than that, looks looks very, very stock and not too bad for uh, 2006. So it's just been, light, I think for the last, I don't know how many years, has really just been a uh, twice a year ridden bike and trails and stuff. It hasn't been raced in a long time. So it's been trail bike, like twice a year trail bike, I guess, for the last, I don't know how many years. But it has been raced. It's uh, been hair scrambled and I think it's been motocrossed earlier in its life. I'm not exactly sure what my path with it is gonna be. We're definitely gonna trail ride and we're gonna try to get our feet wet, both of us, on some uh, light, intermediate, sort of beginner motocross tracks here. Renan's coming up on his Pee 50 and his Kawasaki KDX 50, you know, JR 50 conversion. And then he'll be up onto a Honda XR or CRF 50. And then with that, I wanted a little bit bigger of a bike that could go over the rough stuff and, you know, hang on the trails. And uh, other than the uh, Groms and CRF 110 is my next biggest off-road bike. So that's not really going to do too much if uh, I wanted to learn motocross or ride heavy trails. And the Monkey, of course. We do stuff with that that it shouldn't be done already, but motocross and heavy trail stuff is not really going to be the right direction for that. So that's why I picked up this. And uh, I feel like I got a pretty good deal on it. I paid $2,000. And that's a pretty fair price in comparison with the other stuff I've seen on the market here on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, there's been some really nice looking bikes in Marketplace, but the problem is this sticker right here, this uh, OHV sticker, Off Highway Vehicle sticker. And with that sticker, you are allowed to ride in state and uh, public controlled um, motocross and off-road parks. So without that sticker, you might not be able to ride in those places. So the one thing that you need for that sticker is a title. 
So that is a huge plus for this bike is that it came with a title. It's already been registered. It's got all the paperwork with it and all the stuff that uh, you see on Marketplace is shiny and new as it looks on the ad. Sometimes it doesn't add up to be the best package because it's missing a title or you don't know the history of it. So with this bike, I had all the check boxes ticked off. Title, knew the previous owner who was the second owner. He had cared for the bike, knew everything about it since 2006, 2007. And uh, it's been tested on both trail and track. And uh, with that, there's not many questions that I had with the bike, not many unknowns. So that put together a pretty good package for me with price, previous ownership, and uh, history. And of course, you know, maintaining most of the stock parts, which is always a nice thing to have because if you wanted to upgrade, you're upgrading from stock. I hope you guys think it's cool. Um, we'll probably not focus too much on the bike. We're going to keep focus on the on the monkey and the Honda Grom and the mini moto stuff. But I just thought you all would like to see a little update on what I got and what's going on. So thanks for watching.